Hey there everybody, it's Jimmy Hoppe from Import Gaming for the Win, and this is a special super secret supporter video. Uh, I'm going to show my collection of Segata Sanshiro things, uh, including the games and some merchandise. Uh, anyway, you'll see, uh, right now if you look right there in front, I'm using it as a background, but that is a towel for Segata Sanshiro, so that's the first thing we're going to look at. But uh, we'll start off simply with the game for the Sega Saturn that most people are familiar with. Uh, this game is just a collection of mini games. Uh, and uh, some clips of the commercial. It's kind of fun, but not quite the kind of uh, <laughs> kind of package you'd want for like a Sega the Sanshiro game. Like an action game or fighting game would have been pretty awesome. But anyway, take a look at this package design. There's a copy of a what do you call it? Shikishi, the little colored paper. Uh, here's an obi. Here's a smiling face. The disc. It's a uh, it's a really cool looking package. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and open this up as well, and just kind of take a browse at the at the the manual. But uh, yeah, this was a game that I remember as a kid really wanting, and when I finally got it as an adult, I was let down by it because it's just a bunch of mini games. But it's still pretty cool. Uh, this is not the only game that was released though, because there's a super deluxe PC and Mac version right here. Uh, so. This is the Chojin Densetsu, so the legend of super, of the Superman. Uh, cool package here. Uh, I picked this up, I want to say in uh, was it Trader in Akihabara years ago. Uh, but this has uh, mini games plus like better quality commercial clips and audio clips and just a bunch of other things. Unfortunately, I've, I've popped this in like once in my old PC, but it's uh, it's too hard to get access right now, so I can't really play it. And, uh, and kind of review what's in it, but we'll take a look at the package either way. So here's the the game itself, the disc, one disc for PC and for Mac, Windows 95 and 98. And here's the flimsy manual. <laughs> some some screens here of, of all the different options and, and features in the game. Uh, what this does come with as well is for one of the for one of the mini games. Here's the, here's the survey card. It's very important to keep that. Uh, this is a, it's unopened and I've, I haven't put it together, but it's this little kind of wheelie, like kind of a fortune telling thing. If you look on the back of this box, again, you can kind of see exactly what it is. So that little paper craft item right there. So I don't know, it's it's pretty cool. Um, you know, honestly, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is because I just have too many things and I need to, to cut down, so I might sell a lot of this stuff, but I might as well share it before I do that. Uh, here's a, a promotional item. This is something I think you wanted at a game center, but it's a Segata Sanshiro doll. Uh, pretty uh, straightforward. It's, you know, <laughs> it's him. Look at that. He's ready to fight. Uh, you see, it's a little dirty, but you know, that's just kind of what happens with these, uh, these things over time. Uh, and there are a whole bunch of different variety of little Sanshiros you could get. I would have liked that one with the, uh, the Sega Satan Shiro uh, scroll that he holds, but yeah, no, it is what it is. Uh, another cool item here is the Sega Satan Shiro official doll, action doll, I don't know what you call it. Pretty realistic, pretty cool. Uh, this is from Takara, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know too much about it. It was for sale for sure. Uh, not a promotional item, but these are kind of hard to come by and you know it's surprising You'll be surprised at how many video game dolls there are. This is not the only video game doll I have. I have a uh, Gradriel from Princess Crown and I also have Aya Brea and Melissa Pierce from Parasite E. So uh, I'll probably keep this one just because it's such a novelty uh, But yeah, the the official Segata Sanchiro doll And another kind of like swanky piece of Memorabilia is the figure. Oh, it says figure collection. There's actually two versions of this. This is the normal color version, and there's also like a stone. Oh, look how dusty that is. Uh, there's like a stone colored one, or maybe it's silver. But I think it's supposed to be stone. That one's actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, let's see, Forever Hero. He became legend. Uh, I think Medicom made this. Who's, uh, who's responsible for this? Sega Toys remint. I think it's not Medicom. They would have probably made a better, better figure, but. As you see, it's all in English. This was released, I think, only in Japan. Uh, has all of his his stats here. Uh, you gotta love that his age is unknown. He is forever. Um, but if you look at his face, he looks 
looks like an alcoholic guy at a pachinko parlor. So, not a big fan of this um, this figurine. Uh, kind of hard to see, but the stand is pretty cool. It's like a little Sega Saturn in front of him, the white Saturn that uh, he's known for. Uh, here is a. I believe this was like a promotional item. I don't see any sort of price here. So, a Segata Sanshiro strap. And this one is still unopened. I have one that I opened and put on my bag back in the day. A little chibi Sanshiro. So, it's pretty cool. Up, up next is a CD single. So, a little mini CD uh, for the Segata Sanshiro uh, song, theme song that was used in the commercial. And if you look in the back, there's only three tracks. There's a Karaoken song sung by two different people, I believe. Uh, let's open it up real quick. And that's it. So you get some lyrics here, and you get the little baby CD. So when I was in high school, these these kind of little mini CDs used to amaze me for some reason. And uh, another CD here is the uh, DJ Segata remixes of the Sega Satan Shiro uh, theme song. Uh, I can't really tell you if the songs are good or not because I don't really remember, but it's cool to have the CD. I think this also got a, a big vinyl, like a big record as well. Those ones are a little harder to come by, but this little cheapo CD single, kind of cool. Mine's all beat up, but yeah, you know, DJ Sagata. Uh, here's a promotional pin badge or cam badge uh, of Sagata Sanshiro. Uh, this was, I think, given out at events, but it had a uh, light up, it would light, I think, red. Kind of like blinking light. This uh, the battery is dead on this thing, so I don't know I, if I could ever use it again. But I guess replace the battery. Uh, but yeah, cool little piece of uh, promotional uh, Sega, Sega Saturn uh, merch here. Uh, not really much I could say other than if you got this back in the day, that's pretty cool. And related to that, a couple of telephone cards. These are also promotional things. Uh, everything got telephone cards in Japan, pretty much. Uh, so here's one uh, with him, just that same image, and him holding the scroll in a very epic fashion. I have a whole collection of Japanese video game telephone cards that maybe one day I'll do a video like this about, if you're interested. Here are some stickers, uh, also promotional stickers. Probably something you'd pick up at a store, I'd imagine. Uh, just of, uh, there's a couple over here, and then the big Sagata Sanchiro classic pose. This is a weird one, but this is the <laughs> Segata Sanshiro Monogatari, the story of Segata Sanshiro, an actual book that was published and for sale in Japan, and it was 890 yen plus tax, so pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, I've not read this, I don't even want to attempt it, uh, but I'm sure it's it's pretty camp, is what I can say. Uh, but kind of cool to have this, uh, this book. I, probably not going to keep it, but if it was actually signed, I definitely would be keeping it. I think I've seen a signed copy go for sale years ago online, and it was super cheap, and I, I missed, my, missed the opportunity. And the last little thing here I have for Segata Sanchiro merch is a flyer for that Sega Saturn game. And I do also have like a nice little collection of flyers of, of games, mostly games that I really, really like. Um, but these things are obviously just pick them up at the store. Uh, usually, You'd have like a, the name of the store here, they'd stamp their address there, but this one doesn't have it. Uh, but yeah, that is my humble collection of Sega Sanshiro items. Uh, if you're a big fan of Sega Saturn or, or Sanshiro, hopefully uh, you enjoy this video. And uh, thank you again for your support. This is a secret video, don't share it with your friends or your family. Actually, you can, I don't really care if you do or not. I uh, just uh, appreciate you watching and of course, supporting a poor game for the win. Uh, this is Jimmy Hoppa, take care and play Sega Saturn. Bye-bye.